Hi, I'm Joe James. This video is going to cover quick sort. So the quick sort sorts an array of items in ascending order. In this video, we're going to use integers. First, there are a couple of terms we need to understand before we can start using quick sort. The pivot is an item that is used to compare every other item in the list to. So we'll compare every item to 22 in this case. We'll move all items that are smaller than the pivot to the left of the pivot, and all items that are larger than the pivot to the right of the pivot. As you can see here, all items to the left are less than the pivot. All items to the right are larger than the pivot. Another term is partition. So the left side of the pivot, we have a left partition. On the right side of the pivot, we have a right partition. The pivot essentially partitions the array into two subarrays. Now let's sort the items. For this video, we will always choose the rightmost item as the pivot. In this case, 13 will be our pivot, and I've highlighted that in blue. We're going to sort the items 0 to 7. Again, every comparison will be made only to the pivot. So we're going to use pointers from the left end and the right end of the list. Our first comparison will be 17 to 13. Is 17 larger than the pivot? Yes, it is. Now we're going to jump over to the 3. Is 3 less than the pivot? Yes, it is. So since 17 is larger than the pivot and 3 is less than the pivot, we know that we can swap the 3 with the 17. Now we'll move both pointers in towards the center. We're going to start with 41. Is 41 larger than the pivot? Yes, it is. Is 29 less than the pivot? No. So move that pointer to the left. We're going to look for an item that is smaller than the pivot. Is 6 less than the pivot? Yes. So we can swap 41 and 6. You can see we're moving the smaller items to the left and the larger items to the right. We'll move both pointers towards the center. Is 5 greater than the pivot? No, it is not. Is 22 greater than the pivot? Yes, it is. Now from the right arrow, we're looking for an item that is less than the pivot. Is 54 less than the pivot? No. Oh, look. The two arrows have met in the middle. Now at this point, we're done sorting using 13 as our pivot. So we're going to swap the 13 into place where the 22 is, where the two indexes met. So now we know that all the items to the left of 13 are smaller than 13. All the items to the right of 13 are larger than 13. And the 13 is in its correct position, position number 3. Now we have a left partition and a right partition. And we're going to call quick sort on each of those two partitions in turn. We'll start with the left partition. We have three items there, 0, 1, and 2. We're going to select the rightmost item is our pivot, which is 5. We use two pointers. We're going to compare 3 to 5. Is 3 greater than the pivot? No, it is not. And the two pointers have already met in the middle. So at this point, we can swap the 6 and the 5. Now we can see that all the items to the left of the 5 are smaller than 5. All the items to the right of the 5 are greater than 5. And in fact, there's only one item on either side of the 5. And since there's only one item in each of those subgroups, we know that they're already sorted. So we can mark those two as sorted. Now the whole left side of the list is sorted. We have five items on the right still to sort. So we're going to choose a pivot, the rightmost item, 22. We have four items to compare against. We'll start with two pointers, one at each end. So is 54 greater than the pivot? Yes, it is. Is 17 less than the pivot? Yes, it is. So we can swap 54 and 17. We'll move both pointers in. Is 41 greater than the pivot? Yes. Is 29 less than the pivot? No. So we move that pointer over, and the pointers have met in the middle. Now we know that we can swap the 22 with the 41 and then the 22 will be in the correct position. Now all items to the left of 22 are smaller than 22. 
all items to the right of 22 are larger than 22. And we can see that 17 is the only item to the left of 22. Since there's only one item, we consider that sorted. And we look at the three items to the right of our pivot. We need to sort them next. So we'll choose a pivot, the rightmost item, 41. We're going to use two pointers. Our first comparison is 29 greater than 41. No, it's not. We move that pointer to the right. Our pointers have met in the middle. Now we can swap the 54 with the 41. And when we do that, we can see that we only have one item to the left of 41 and one item to the right of 41. So the list is fully sorted. That, in a nutshell, is how quick sort works. Quick sort, as you can see, is a recursive method, a method that calls itself. It is known as a divide and conquer algorithm because it breaks the problem down into smaller problems to solve it, which we did using partitions. It's very efficient for large data sets, not particularly efficient for small data sets, but very efficient for large data sets. The worst case performance of the quick sort is big O of n squared. The average case or expected case is big O of n log n, which is similar to merge sort. So performance in quick sort depends largely upon the selection of the pivot. Now often the first item in the list is used for a pivot, or the last item, or the middle item, or sometimes the middle of three items. But the best performance happens when you randomly choose a pivot because your, the objective to maximize the performance of quicksort is to have similar sized partitions to the left of the pivot and to the right of the pivot. So randomly chosen pivots on average ensures very close to n log n performance. That wraps it up for quicksort. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.